I have another entry into the uh, value LED grow lights. And this one was sent to me from a company called Osri. This, for about $86 on Amazon right now, is a 100 watt LED grow light. It's rated for a two by two uh, tent. And it's one of the main competitors out there, but uh, this one is a little bit different from some of the others. And I'll show you what to expect. First off, it is 24 inches from one side to the other. So in the two by two, it's gonna go from one wall to the other. Now it's just uh, under five and a half inches across, 5.4. So uh, you're gonna go right down the middle and hopefully get a little bit of light cast off to the left and right of it in your tents. On the back side, you'll notice that it has a 100 watt uh, LED driver. This is an L SLZ 100 watt. Uh, this light is uh, made in China, I believe, at least the, the uh, driver is. And it incorporates uh, connectors that are real easy to put together. Uh, they just push. There's a male and female pin and there's a uh, barrel screw that uh, snugs those down. It is rated for moist or damp areas. The light requires just a little bit of assembly, not too bad. Uh, the brackets get screwed on and screwed down into the heat sink. Interesting thing about this is it is a little bit thicker than the typical quantum board, um, almost an inch and a half thickness. And on the front side, unlike some of the other quantum boards, it does have a protective cover on it. So weight-wise, uh, just a little bit heavier than a typical quantum board. And today, what I'd like to do is run through a few tests. Uh, this particular light can be daisy chained. It has uh, 672 uh, diodes. And uh, one of the things that uh, I'll be looking at will be if I plug it into a meter to find out how many watts it actually pulls, what will it come out to be? If I take temperature readings off of it, and we'll actually take some readings off of this light, uh, suspended about 12 inches above the canopy, which would be approximately where you'd like to have this if you're doing some uh, plants that typically flower and fruit. And here's what you need to know. Uh, this LED has a nice uh, spectrum to it. It is a mix of warm and cool LEDs, also includes infrared and um, ultraviolet um, lights in terms of the diodes and their output. You can tell that it is a, uh, light that uh, does not put out the typical uh, older style uh, purple, blue, red type of lights. It uh, has a pleasing spectrum to the eye and also this white spectrum should be beneficial to plants. Checking out the uh, PPF, the output of the light at about 12 inches above canopy, directly in the middle, uh, picking up around the 400 range on the uh, very uh, ends where the uh, light is coming in from one side and not the other. Um, it drops off into the 300, low 300 range. And then if you come off of the light towards the, uh, what would be the weakest side of a 2x2 grow tent, it drops uh, down closer to the uh, 160 to 200 range. Now with the walls of a uh, grow tent that will reflect the light back in, so I, I would expect that to pick up just a little bit. Uh, in terms of the uh, power outage, it's rated at 100 watts, and from the wall with the meter right now, I am pulling 97.8 watts, and so that is well within the uh, plus or minus 5% and respectable. The actual heat, uh, when I ran heat uh, readings off of this light, it uh, does run a little on the warm side, most likely because it has the uh, shield that goes over the LED board. Now, the uh, direct middle of the driver, uh, the highest rating is about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. On the uh, heat sink, uh, you know, that runs across the top and back of the light, about 120, 125. And underneath, directly uh, pointed up at the lights, uh, around 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, if you have a grow space that is in a warm room, you may need to ventilate it. And if you are in a cooler area, for example, some people like to put a grow tent in a basement uh, where the temperature, ambient temperature is probably about uh, 60 degrees. This additional heat may be enough to bring your uh, growing operation up to where it uh, maximizes the benefits of the warmth and the uh, ability for the plants to grow at an accelerated rate because ideally um, you're not going to want too cool or too warm inside that grow tent. So overall Osri has done a, a very nice job with this particular light. Uh, I will be interested to run some tests on it and I will report the uh, results back hopefully here in the near future.